Many of us are always looking for new ideas for our seasonal ritual practices, and this book might just be what you're looking for. Hey saplings, welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today's book review is Earth Rituals for the Celtic Year, Heartbeat of the Seasons, by Kathleen Glennon. I was very intrigued by this book. I think someone actually recommended it to me. I can't quite remember who. Sorry, should write those things down. It is very straightforward in laying out lots of different rituals for the festival seasons that we celebrate as pagans. There are rituals starting at Samhain, moving through winter and spring and summer. What's interesting about this book is it has a CD in the back with different like ritual songs and better than that is actual sheet music. Do you know how much I want more sheet music in my pagan books? Like there is such creative and unique chants and music that people use to celebrate with. But as someone who reads music and would like to use it on piano or you know other instruments or sing it i want actual sheet music so big bonus points anyway on to the rest of the book the rituals prayers craft ideas seasonal celebrations aren't particularly new or like earth shattering many of them are very lovely many of them are very inspiring but just kind of what you would expect out of ritual conversations. What I did find interesting was this is a book that is geared more towards a Christo pagan or someone who is currently transitioning or adding to their Christian background. I think it could be powerful and very interesting to use in an ecumenical group. There is a lot of conversation about the Abrahamic God in these rituals and in this book. Not overpowering or forcing Christianity down your throat, but it is an interesting mix that you don't see in the typical Samhain, Yule, Immel conversations. I can't say that I was the audience for this book. My druidry involves conversations with deity, but I am more of an animist and a panentheist, so the Abrahamic God isn't particularly helpful in my rituals. As an example, let's talk about this uh, conversation for the 6th of January, which is the night or celebration of wisdom, a conversation in day that's all about like the coming of the Magi. So there is a reading, which is like Sophia is the reflection of the eternal light, untarnished mirror of God's active power and the image of God's goodness. That is like very Christian in your face. Uh, and there are some even like connections with reading from the Bible. At the same time, there is talk about the wisdom of the universe in this ritual and a real sense of connection to the natural world. So uh, I'm struggling to really kind of describe the duality that's in this book. If you are someone who, like I said, is coming from a Christian background, is a Christo pagan, this is like a gold mine of really great ideas. If you're a pagan who's been kind of doing the motions and hasn't been pushing yourself lately, this might also be an interesting read for you because I think it will make you step outside of your box and consider different things. So not the typical book for your pagan reader, but could be very interesting for a small section of you. This week's sapling shout out goes out to Ator Balusi. They wrote on my Celtic Magic book review that they really enjoyed the review, bought the book, and then loved it. So thanks for getting back to us and telling us in the comments how you enjoyed the book. I love it when people are doing that. If you want to be a sapling shout out in the future, tell me in this video what you think about the combination of Christianity and paganism. How does that work in your practice or your history, your community? I am curious. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred groves.